It's the indie sensation, Cole Quinn. Things are about to heat up. Oh man, still not officially underway. We had a feeling this would happen. The ref's going to call it if they don't get into the ring. Yeah, this referee's warning them. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum, every push has been cut off. Back now inside the ring. All right, we're ready to kick this one off. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. And Cole Quinn making him think twice. A oh. dragon screw. That'll destroy a knee. Max Handel finds the mark. EC3 is just such a physically impressive superstar. Corey, do you think that gives him an early advantage just in terms of intimidation factor? Of course, Byron, but when you're the top 1% of talent in WWE, it can be easy to rest on your laurels. EC3 needs to channel his inner Steve Blackman and take the fight to his opponent. He can't just win the match on intimidation alone. Swinging neckbreaker connects. This match grinded him down a little. No need to panic, he's still swinging. And a mud hole is being stopped. Look out, here we go. Look at this. And EC3 easily getting the shoulder up. That is a great reversal. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Kick right to the leg. Nice. Big open hand strike. Absolutely incredible. And look at the quickness by Cole Quinn. Wow, he's taking it up top. All the way from the top. What a hurt, Karata. Two, three. Cole Quinn with the victory. He earned it big time. Corey, we got to take a look at this action. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. This guy looks like he's ready to tear through the entire locker room. But I wouldn't put it past him. That main event may have raised more questions than provide answers. We'll find out next time. See you soon, everybody.